Hey y'all, it's Lisa Ziegler dropping in here, kind of unexpectedly like big time. I don't even have my tripod over here, so I'm holding my phone with my hand. But y'all, this is just a really exciting time for us at the Gardener's Workshop. Um, I don't talk about it much because there's so many other things to talk about, but we are actually in the preparations of actually moving our business. And I am now standing upstairs, um, of our new building. It's across the street from our old building. Um, and I just walked over here. There's no contractors here working and just thought I'd take a look and see what's going on. And I just thought I got to show y'all. I mean, I haven't been here for a week. I haven't been up here in the building for a week and I just, it's, it's still unreal to me. So I'm going to give y'all a little tour. Um, so I'll just give you the rundown. So soon after the pandemic broke in March of 2020, right, um, our online garden shop business exploded overnight, as everybody's garden business did, right? I mean, everything just went crazy. So we had to move it off the farm. Within six months, we were just, we had no room on the farm in that big building. And I was able to purchase the building that's across the street. And I mean, we had no way of knowing how fast we would continue to grow, right? Because it was so unprecedented. So I bought that building and we moved in and it was wonderful for about six months. And then we started having to actually keep a lot of the pallets of product. Like when we order soil blockers from England, we have to get a certain amount and the hose from Switzerland that we get. Anyway, we were still having to store stuff at home on the farm. So this building that I'm standing in, which is three times bigger than that building, went on the market um, about a year and a half ago. And, but it had a renter in it that was um, legally bound to be here until June of this year. And so we didn't renew their lease and we've taken over the building. And I just wanna show y'all what we've done. We've added a thousand square foot and I'll show you what that means in just a minute and have just done so much. So I'm gonna, start, I'm, gonna I'm upstairs and I'm gonna sh first show you, I'm gonna actually show you from, let's see here, let me turn this around. All right, so I'm standing with my back in what's going to be the business office, and that's where I come up those stairs right there. And friends, that over there is called a mezzanine. We had that installed. We gained a thousand square feet out of air. <laughs> that's going to be, that is our seed department. Um, that's where all the picking will go on. The bulk packaging goes on over there. Um, but look out here. Oh, I just can't hardly believe this. So I'm standing right here. So we have this metal railing to keep me from diving off the edge. So this is the building. That, my friends, is a new piece of equipment that we purchased from Poland. That I can't wait for y'all to see that in action and what that does for us. And that will be the packaging department over there. That's where that machine will be right over there. Um, and you know, we package so much stuff um, here at the Gardener's Workshop and that's kind of where home base will be. So there's a huge, that's like a 20 by 20 garage door and our building is directly across the street. So this is the business office and this was nothing before. I mean, it was one sheet rocked, um, had no ceiling, it just had metal, you know, like, you know, like, like a warehouse would. And um, so this has now been sheetrocked and HVAC installed and carpet. And so this is where um, there'll be three desks up here. That's me and Suzanne and Kelly and anybody and Susie probably. Um, and so you come out on this landing. And as I said, this is the seed department and there's another HVAC system and that has a gate that opens so we can forklift stuff up here if we need to and i just i can't believe it y'all so we've had all these all this lighting installed you can see they're still installing network cables and such i mean y'all you just can't believe how much stuff it is i mean every time i turn around it's like oh yeah we got to do this too and we just had installed these two fans 
that are pretty fancy fans, y'all. They actually, they call it, they destratify the air. They keep the air moving so it stays more comfortable in here. And so there is, again, our crate fresh from Poland. That's a cool piece of equipment. There's Miss Daisy. That's our forklift. And we had those pallet racks installed, which is about three times the volume that we have across the street. And so let me walk downstairs here. So this is the seed department up here. And we still haven't <laughs> figured out or finalized how we're going to get the seed orders from up there downstairs. I mean, there's all kinds of ideas floating around here. Um, but we'll see what happens. This is the fulfillment department. So this is where all the products that are being picked from the shelves. There'll be workstations along the wall. Um, and everything's on wheels, rolling racks, you know. And so we have um, got a new laundry sink, and there's an eyewash station, and here's the bathroom that yet to have a door installed. New tile floors. All the floors were really crooked, and my husband, you know, is the plumber. And so the floors had to be floated with material to flatten them and have tile put on them so the toilets could be installed properly. Um, so this is the big warehouse fulfillment, and then this is the warehouse office. This is just another restroom, and this will be where the big printers are, um, storage, HVAC. There'll be a conference table, a couple of desks in here, and we'll look across the street, right? And over there, that behind those trees is our other building that'll be rented after we move. So friends, we appreciate everybody's support and um, just, I still just kind of have to pinch myself to see that this is even. If somebody would have told me five years ago that I'd own a forklift jaw, I would have said, what the heck for? We couldn't, it's kind of like having a tractor on the farm you just can't even believe the stuff we do with that thing. Um, and so this is going to be our new digs. And um, just lots of opportunity. Um, and so the whole team is so very, very excited. Anyway, I just thought I'd pop on here and tell you guys. So here's what the mezzanine looks like from down here. So before... None of that was there. It was just open airspace, right? And that mezzanine added a thousand square feet to this building, which is just phenomenal. So friends, all right, I gotta go back across the street and finish working and till we meet again. And I'll see you, I'm sure I'm going live this evening. Um, we have brought mine and Dave's bundle back out for another 48-hour run, two courses for one low price. It's pretty amazing, actually. Um, so I'll be talking about that. And so, friends, we appreciate um, all of y'all and supporting us, and um, we love helping you. All right, friends, until we meet again, ciao.